After discussing finding the mean of a discrete probability distribution, the next question is how spread out are the individual results of a probability distribution around that mean? In other words, what is the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution? The formula for the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution is the standard deviation is equal to the square root of the sum of the individual values minus the mean squared times the individual probabilities. So for example, we've been working with the number of classes a student attends in a day. And we had this data that the individual numbers were 0 classes, 1 class, 2 class, or 3 classes. And the individual probabilities for each of those outcomes was a 0.01 chance of going to 0 classes, 0.04 chance of going to 1 class, 0.15 chance of going to 2 classes, and 0.80 chance of going to 3 classes. We also found out in a prior video that the average or the expected value of this distribution is 2.74. We found that by multiplying the individual outcomes times the probabilities and then adding those all up. So now to find the standard deviation, how spread out things are, the results are around that mean of 2.74, we'll follow this formula. Starting on the inside, in the parentheses, you see that x minus mu, which means we're going to take the x values, make sure you're going to the x column, and we're going to subtract the average of 2.74. So 0 minus 2.74 is negative 2.74. 1 minus 2.74 is negative 1.74. 2 minus 2.74 is negative 0 0.74. And 3 minus 2.74 is 0.26. Around that parentheses in the formula, you see we need to square all of those individual results. So we'll take those differences that we just found, and we'll square each of those deviations. Remember, when we square a deviation, Squaring will always make the results positive. So we can ignore the negatives and just square 2.74, which is 7.5076. Square 1.74, which is 3.0276. Square 0 0.74, which is 0.5476. And square the 0.26, which is 0 0.0676. The next part of the formula says we're going to take that result and we're going to multiply it by the individual probabilities. So I'm taking the green column and multiplying it by the probability column. So skipping over the middle blue column here, I'm doing 0 0.01 times 0 0.7506, and I get 0 0.0751. Then I do 0 0.04 times 3.0276, which is 0.1211. Then I do 0 0.15 times 0 0.05476, which is 0.0821. And finally, 0 0.80 times 0 0.0676, and I get 0 0.0541. The formula says we're going to add those up. And when we add up all of those, we get 0 0.3324. That's equal to the sum of all of the x minus the averages squared times the probabilities. For our final answer, though, the formula states that sigma, the standard deviation, is the square root of that sum, the square root of 0.3324. So our final standard deviation is 0.5765. So while the mean is 2.74, on average, the students attending 2.74 classes, the standard deviations around that mean are 0.5765 classes on either side.
That's our standard deviation for a discrete probability distribution.